We report a case of a 55-year-old man who in 2015 presented with unexplained fevers, myalgia, arthralgia, recurrent auricular chondritis, and inflammatory skin lesions. Over the next few years, he continued to have these symptoms along with episcleritis, colitis, and was also diagnosed with interstitial lung disease with features of organizing pneumonia. Laboratory investigations revealed chronically elevated inflammatory markers and persistent mild cytopenias. He was initially given a diagnosis of relapsing polychondritis and was treated with oral prednisone. He required doses around 25 to 30 milligrams to control his symptoms. Various other treatments were tried without response, including methotrexate, azathioprine, tocilizumab, cerilumab, anakinra, infliximab, tofacitinib, baricitinib, and rituximab. Persistent macrocytosis with cytopenias led to a bone marrow aspirin biopsy to rule out a primary bone marrow disorder. Examination of the bone marrow aspirate revealed vacuolation of the myeloid and erythroid precursors with minimal dysplasia otherwise. Vacuolation of marrow precursors is commonly seen in states of copper deficiency or zinc excess and can be a feature of myelodysplastic syndrome. Vacuolation of bone marrow cells is also present in the newly discovered Vexus syndrome, although at the time of marrow examination, Vexus had not yet been described. Vexus is a syndrome due to a somatic point mutation in the UBA1 gene on the X chromosome. It is characterized by treatment refractory inflammation and vacuoles in myeloid and erythroid precursors as present in this patient. Upon learning about Vexus, the astute clinical hematologist remembered this case and arranged for genetic testing. Sanger sequencing performed on a peripheral blood sample revealed a mutation affecting methionine 41 of the UBA1 gene, consistent with the diagnosis of Vexus.